Ward Counselor 2. Uh, cool. The counselor has voted to reject his reinstatement to the Sudbury Police Board. And uh, that is, I would say, probably the headline, the most timely of our headlines today. Uh, COVID-19 has been a headline for two years. But uh, but this one is... Uh, but this one is really today. So after uh, we work out some of the technical, <laughs> we're got. We, I got it while we were, while you were giving the headlines. I got. Some he of figured that. it out, and that's yeah. That's what we love, AJ, the yes. technical whiz genius. Yes. We work together on these so things. Here's your camera right now. Do you see it? <laughs> it's it's like, the wrong one. <laughs> no, I'll switch it around. And there it is. There you are. Yeah, I have no problem with it being I the other way. In real time while you're giving the headlines. Yeah, great work. But this is what happens oh, when we have yeah. a communication error. Everything yeah. down the line gets pushed oh. pushed back because we need the show to go on. Yeah. So we're looking at headlines. We're reading all the articles to make sure we're informed so we can talk about them intelligently. Definitely, yes. And then, you know, yes. the actual show gets... Yeah. It suffers. Well, well we things happen, right? So. so while you were talking, I was figuring out your camera, right? And, yeah, you did a great job. And, and I can't believe I actually did that on the fly. I was going to go, Billy, Billy. <laughs> Need help. He's listening to the CKLU feed, so he would have heard us uh, four or five, you know, 15 seconds later. <laughs> mm -hmm. so it just wouldn't have worked. But anyways, yeah, so those did, – did you have any other headlines at all? No, the There's message, the one the message of, of the headline of the day, this first, you know, most timely headline is that Ward Counselor 2, Michael Venini – no longer welcome on the police services board. And if you remember, the story around this was he failed to call police after witnessing a woman run out of the Memorial Park encampment. That's right. And the argument went, he didn't call the police. That means he shouldn't be on the police board as a ward counselor for the Sudbury City Council. Mm-hmm. Pretty controversial stuff there. I mean, his in in defense of Vagnini, his defense was pretty logical. Do you want to hear what he said? Yeah. He said, uh, let me just scroll through. This is on the Sudbury Star website. Mm hmm And uh, in normal procedures, no one is asked, or one is asked to step aside until things are proven. So Montpellier, it was Ward 3, I believe, counselor, defended Vagnini, and he said, nothing's really been proven. There's just been an allegation, and um, he also said, my biggest issue with this was the fact that false information was circulated through his Facebook page, and as an elected official, when, when he found out that the information was false, he didn't remove it. Hmm. So it, it's, it's kind of a tough situation, because it's obvious that both sides of the story were not being equally represented. Yeah. Pignini's side of the story was, it was just a woman leaving a tent. You don't necessarily call the police when you see that. And then other people's, you know, theirs yeah, but was... Yeah, you could tell she was in distress or something, right? Or, yeah, people you know, were saying, well, known. you should have known yeah. that she was in distress. Yeah. And he said there was no obvious... Signs of that. ...evidence of it. Mm -hmm. So you don't call the police every time someone leaves their tent. And, uh, well, but I think there's maybe, definitely arguments for both. Maybe it was the manner in which she left her tent, I think, that people were... Yeah, I guess. Um, Concerned with that he didn't report it. Yeah. So Roger and Johnston told Vagnini that two bodies were pulled out of a tent. Mm. And, like, this is the evidence. But, again, it's like hindsight in 2020, right? Yeah. And uh, this is these aren't the only allegations made about against Vagnini, like, in his long tenure as city councilor. So mm. maybe it's... Maybe they're just assuming because of other allegations. Yeah. But due process is a is usually the default, I think. So he didn't, didn't call nine one one. Yeah. And uh and that's kind of why he was booted from the police board. Police board. Interesting. So what do you think about that? If if you were in a similar situation, what defense could you make? Especially with the court of public opinion. Mm hmm. Like what defense could you make? you know yeah i i don't know um it, it would depend on all the evidence which i don't have right like did he realize this was a crisis situation that he was witnessing or just a lady running uh 
from where she, she was living, which was for months on Memorial Park's right, premises, right next to the downtown tent. police, right? Police, yeah. So yeah. you might think, well, if it is an issue, the police are right here, and that particular person could just go to the police, just run yeah. in next door. Yeah, you know. I don't know. That's uh, it's interesting. But you bring up an interesting point that this isn't the only thing that... Well, no, there have been others. Yeah. Other things that uh, people have taken exception with <clears throat> with the councillor. And so I think there was a vote yesterday uh, about... That's right. Yeah, looking remove... into these or... Well, Montpelier, again, I mm. believe Ward Councillor 3 yep. was saying we're, we're trying to get a third-party investigation mm -hmm. because you don't just get booted off of a council for suspect... Uh, you know, suspicious uh, activity. There exactly. has to be an investigation. Uh, you might be suspended from the police council, uh, police board, but you won't be, you know, booted forever yep. because of a suspicion. It should be a suspension and then there's an investigation yep. and then it goes from there. But, you know, both of us have mixed feelings about these endless, you know, bureaucratic investigations, but that's beside the point. For sure. Yeah, no, it's it's hard to say. I mean... Um, you hope that uh, council would work this out and, you know, whatever is right would just kind of prevail. And, uh, and and again, I don't know enough about this situation to, to say other than, you know, it's uh, Councillor Vagnini, I guess, in the election would have, you know, people that may possibly run against him could yeah, bring some that. of these up, mm -hmm. these things up uh, or whatever. So other than that, I, I don't know. But he's definitely not going to be on the police board. He's definitely not safe in this position. No, he's not, not safe.